another a very familiar sight to be seen but we took this time of self quarantine to figure out and plan our next steps and I think today this is what we're doing in this video we're gonna be doing the water pump for the Toyota van so if you guys clicked on this video for some water pump footy full disclosure I don't know what I'm doing but we're gonna learn today so if you want to stick around thanks for tuning in let's get to work so the plan of attack take a deep socket 10 mil I think it'll get this clutch off if not it'll get just the fan off and give us a little bit more space here This is just to get the fan off. Sick. Sweet. All right, so now you have a better view of the clutch that is right here. And, um, you know, I think that this tensioner is actually kind of in the way. All right, so, so I want to remove the clutch, uh, this clutch fan type deal, but I don't want to, I don't want to struggle. So what I'm going to do is, this is a tensioner up here. I'm gonna undo the tensioner, get this accessory belt off, possibly order another one, and then, um, yeah, kind of move this out of the way and hopefully get some more space. fan which you know I'm not really sure how this works if you guys can tell me in the comments down below um, all I know is this is the part that I bought thinking it would cool the van down and it did not so all right next step is to get this team this pulley we're gonna get this pulley out of the way I think I even just found where we sprung the leak I'm super excited for that. What's going on here? Brought some backup. Maybe this needs to be undone. Whoa! Oh my god. I was fighting that so hard. Okay. There we go. Accessory belt number two off. That is interesting. I've never seen that before. All right, here we are. We've taken off the fan, clutch, two accessory belts, and uh, it looks like we're getting pretty close. So we are right here at the water pump. Here's the water pump. The um, alternator looks like it is its own tensioner. So I should be able to just remove the alternator release tension off the alternator and it will give me the space I need to get this belt off which I don't think this belt has been changed in quite some time oh my god there's so much slack in this thing maybe that's why I was failing here is your alternator right if you look right here on the side there's a small tensioner it looks like you can even twist that by hand so this yeah look at it you can see it way better all right, so this, you're probably gonna have to break loose, and then this is the tensioner. Um, you could probably screw that by hand, but I'm gonna break this loose with, a, looks like a 14. But, you guys, I think I found, I think I found where I had my blowout underneath this power steering. And I might just undo the power steering for a little bit to get into it, because there's, there's a pretty bad leak right here at the hose and uh let's see that hose goes down to the bottom end of the radiator all right i'm gonna be re replacing that stuff so might as well get into it right now but let's uh focus on what we're doing alternator coming off looks like a 14 i think here might not actually be a 14 it might be something smaller let's try a 12. 12 yep okay we're in the money break loose tensioner boom sweet all right okay 
All right. Oh, I might just. Whoa, this can't. This comes off. Oh, the this is the pulley. I didn't realize this. I should have realized this came off. But I didn't realize this was a part. Okay. Did you see that? Yeah, you did. Okay. Uh, is there play? There's no play. Spins pretty good. I'm always so quick to uh, dive into projects that I forget that I have an awesome glove sponsor. Thank you, Glove Shop, for sponsoring the channel and hooking me up with gloves. Really appreciate it. Keep my hands clean because this is this is a filthy mess. Look at that. All right, so uh, here I have our new water pump um, from Pro Shop Noble. Thank you so much, Pro Shop. Oh my God, I'm getting it dirty. Um, we have the gasket, we have the water pump. We might as well do it while we're in the neighborhood. Uh, however, I just noticed that these threaded bolts are very interesting design <laughs> to say the least. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove the old water pump so that we can get started on putting in the new one. So maybe I can break this bracket loose, move the alternator out of the way, and then I'll get the water pump out Let's break this thing loose. Oh well. Oh, there we go. Step by step process with Jocko Moto. There we go. What's that? Okay. There you go. That's your alternator bolt. With this out of the way, let's do the. Looks like 12s. I've never seen a water pump on this guy. It's actually pretty easy to get to. definitely won't be firing this thing up this video but so I've taken the old I've taken the new water pump and I've put all the bolts in where they're supposed to stay and I'm gonna set that aside oh all the water is coming out. <laughs> All right, well, here it is. Here is your water pump. And there is definitely some corrosion going on in here. Uh, God, I'm gonna clean this off. Keep it as spare parts, but after you've taken this off, my new water pump does not come with these studs here. So we're gonna have to do a little trick to get these studs off. I want to get this old gasket off and put our new gasket on and then we'll flush the coolant system. Two hours later. All right, well, I've just about had it with today's project. As soon as I get this gasket on, I'm going to call the people I love and apologize for everything I've done. I'm just going to be so happy once this is over, I tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. Alright, so, let's see. It's going to go in like this, right here. A couple of those guys to help guide me in place. Oh my gosh, it's so shiny. This one, right here. All right, though, after we fix the problem. This one's huge. Clean these things off, man. I love seeing clean parts so much. This is gonna conclude today's video, you guys. Yet. 
This last one requires the alternator bracket to go back in, but I'm not gonna put the bracket back in just yet because it looks like I have more trouble going on with the power steering and with the upper radiator hose and the lower radiator hose. So this is gonna conclude the video, guys. You guys, thank you for watching the water pump replacement video. Um, uh, God, what, what, what a process, but we're done now. Thank you guys for watching. Um, geez, yeah, I have so much work ahead of me. Thank you guys for watching. This is my 1987 Toyota van. And if you guys wanna stick around and watch me rebuild this engine, make it looking nice. Hopefully we do a good job. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Uh, like the video if this helped out, if you were curious how this is gonna go down. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. She is the new water pump. So there's still a lot more to do. There's a lot of things I wanna touch up. So that's gonna end the video here, you guys. Whew, I am dirty. Thank you guys for watching the video. This is my 1987 Toyota van. And I hope this video helped any of anybody, any of you guys out. If you guys clicked on this video because you were looking to do some work yourself, that's the water pump. Uh, very interesting. This is my first time doing it. So, you know, I'm learning along with you guys. So if you guys like the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. That helps. Subscribe down below. I'm at like 200 uh, subscribers, which is cool. I've, <laughs> I've, I've reached another goal. So it's really cool. Um, all organic growth and just... People are just curious about what's going on, friends following and stuff. So if you'd like to follow along, hit that subscribe button down below. But if you have any questions, I'm open to answer any questions, although I am not that knowledgeable. I do have a lot of friends in the community that could answer your question and I could relay that message to you. So if you have any questions, be sure to let, hit them down in the comments below. But until next time, you guys, that's it for the video. I'm Mom Giacomoto. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Whew, holy crap, what a process. Uh, today I dove into the Toyota van, worked on the van a little bit, replaced the water pump. Really crazy stuff, check this out. Um, I went in here and uh, took all the accessory belts off, took the clutch fan off, replaced that shiny piece right there. You see that shiny piece? Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, what a process, what a headache. Um, I was a little bit worried at times, but you know, we got through it. You just gotta dedicate yourself to the task and uh, you just keep on pushing, I guess. So I am done with, uh, I'm done with that. The water pump is in and uh, I'm, I'm tapped. So let's talk a little bit about what I wanna do with this van, the fun stuff of what I wanna do. So let me clean you guys off right here. And then I'm gonna give you guys a good spot to sit down and then we can start talking, so. What's happening, party people? All right, we are back in the van. Let me close this door, maybe I'll get some better audio going. Right, so, we are back in the van, and uh, I replaced the water pump today, which was very interesting, and uh, you know what else? On top of taking things apart and looking at stuff, I am, I'm now seeing a couple issues of uh, things I want to replace. I want to replace the upper and lower hoses for the radiator, of course. It looks like the lower radiator hose uh, might had had the blowout. Like that might have been where we lost all of our water was water was going down, trying to get in, couldn't get into the into the engine. I don't know. I don't know. It, it was really weird, but um, so I, I might have seen some things that could help me in the long run. Uh, we replaced the water pump, super cool. And uh, in the meantime, while I was kind of pondering what I was gonna do, I started to think about how I wanna build this van. And uh, I think I got a good idea, right? So this bench seat is definitely a piece that I wanna put in the van and I wanna build around it. And then back here along this window, I want to uh, build a table here that kind of looks out the window, but also can slide forward and have a desk right here. And um, I think that this seat reclines back and this will be like kind of where the bed is. If I am gonna camp in this 
van and truly do the van life thing, then I want to base the whole thing around this bench here. So, but uh, I I want to keep it looking as basic as possible with just a, a small table here that pulls out um, storage underneath the back of the seat and possibly like a fold down table of some sort. But other than that, that's kind of it. I wanted a, I wanted to do a TV monitor that could swing out and also some type of curtain rig or some type of wall here so that um, I could have some privacy when I'm not driving the car. But this has been this has been pretty cool. You like it. It's been super interesting today replacing that water pump shiny new object super cool i want to go ahead and replace the alternator and a couple hoses because um it looks like they could definitely be the culprit so yeah it's been fun it's been fun it's been scary but um i just had to go head on with it figure it out get it done so we did a job well done here today and uh I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Jocomoto. This is the Toyota Van Build. I want you guys to take it easy. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.